A, B and C can do a work in 8, 16 and 32 days respectively. So A can do a job in 8 days. So every day A will do 1 by 8th of the work. B can do a job in 16 days. So every day B will do 1 by 16th of the work. And every day C will do 1 by 32 part of the work. They all began together. A continues to work till the work is finished. B and C leave one day before the work is complete. How many days was required to complete the work? So we will assume that the whole work was done in X days. And every day A will do 1 by 8th of the work. Every day 1 by 8th of the work like that for X days. Now both B and C left one day before. Which means that both B and C, both of them work for X minus 1 days. So every day B will do 1 by 16th of the work like that for X minus 1 days. One day before the work was completed, B left. Similarly, C also works for X minus 1 days. And every day 1 by 32 part of the work is done. And like that in X days, the whole work is completed which can be considered as 1. So this is the equation that we have. Now, in how many days, uh, how many days was required to complete the work? So the value of x, that is what we need to calculate. We'll multiply by the LCM of 8, 16 and 32, that is 32. So all the denominators will go off. Multiplying by 32, 32 x by 8 plus 32 into x minus 1 by 16 plus 32 into x minus 1 by 32 that is equal to 32 here 8 divides 4 times so 4x here 2 times 2 into x minus 1 so 2x minus 2 32 and 32 divides so you have remaining x minus 1 that is equal to 32 4x plus 2x plus 1x so that will be 7x here minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 is equal to 32 or 7x you will get it as 32 plus 3 35 so 7x is 35 or x is equal to 5 so x is the total number of days in how many days was the work completed that is in x days that is 5 days option c the lcm and hcf of two numbers are respectively 30 and 2. If one of the numbers is 6, find the other number. So you have two numbers A and B. Now their product A into B is equal to LCM of their two numbers A and B into the HCF of the two numbers A and B. Now this is a well known theorem. Now LCM of the two numbers A and B is given as 30 into their HCF is 2. So this is equal to A into B, that is the product of the two numbers. If one of the numbers is 6, then the other should be 10. So that this is 30 into 2 is 60, here 6 into 10 is 60. So if one of the numbers is 6, then the other number should be 10, that is option B, 10. In how many ways can the alphabets of the word house be arranged? such that all the three vowels are together. So you have the alphabets H, O, U, S and E. Now all the three vowels should be together. They are together means bring them together and treat it as one alphabet. So bring O, U and E and treat it as one alphabet. Then the three vowels will always be together. This one alphabet can be kept anywhere you like. So these two consonants are there, H, S, and this one alphabet is also there. This is treated as one, O, U, and E, they are brought together and it is treated as one. So H, S, and this one alphabet, so effectively only three of them. They can be interchanged in three factorial ways. And in each of these three factorial arrangements, O, U, and E can be interchanged among themselves in three factorial ways. So three factorial into three factorial. These are the number of arrangements where the three vowels are always together. That is option A. A rectangular sheet of paper when halved by folding it at the midpoints of its longer side 
results in a rectangle whose longer and shorter sides are in the same proportion as the longer and shorter sides of the original rectangle if the shorter side of the original rectangle is 2 then what is the area of the smaller rectangle so you have the rectangle like this this is the original one now this is the longer side and this is the shorter side if the shorter side of the original rectangle is 2 so this is equal to 2 shorter side is 2 what is the area of the smaller rectangle now what is said is that this rectangle has been halved by folding it at the uh, longer side if you fold it now this side will now be l by 2 and this is also l by 2 now what is said is that by folding it you will get a new rectangle whose longer and shorter sides are in the same proportion as the longer and shorter sides of the original rectangle now in the original rectangle the longer side is l and shorter side is s and s is equal to 2 now this is in the same ratio as the longer side to the shorter side of the uh, new rectangle now in the uh, smaller rectangle the longer side is s that is 2 is to the shorter side is l by 2 so this is also equal to l by 2 now from this we can find out the value of l i'll bring l by 2 to this side so you will get uh, l square by 2 is equal to 2 into 2 4 or l square you will get it as 4 into 2 so l you will get it as a root of this so that will be 2 root 2 that is the value of l now what we need to find out is area of the smaller rectangle area of the smaller rectangle is l by 2 into 2 so l by 2 into 2 so 2 and 2 cancels out what we get is l and l is equal to 2 root 2 so area of the smaller rectangle is 2 root 2 option b germany plays against brazil in a soccer world cup semi-finals match germany defeats brazil 4-2 so four goals scored by germany and then two goals scored by brazil in how many ways could the goals have been scored given that brazil never took the lead over germany during the match now brazil never took the lead over germany which means that compulsorily the first goal should have been scored by germany so we have to fix the first goal as germany because it cannot be scored by brazil now remaining three goals are there by germany and two goals by brazil so in how many ways can these three g's and these two b's be arranged so that brazil never took the lead over germany now there is only one unfavorable case now that unfavorable case is that the first goal anyway has to be scored by germany and the only unfavorable case is the next the next two goals are scored by brazil and then the next three are scored by germany so here brazil takes a lead of one so this is the only unfavorable case in all the other cases brazil never takes a lead over germany so the g is fixed here and remaining these three g's are there and these two b's are there so in how many ways can they be arranged and from the total number of arrangements we have to remove this one arrangement alone only in this one arrangement brazil takes a lead over germany so g there are three of them and two b's are there in how many ways can they be arranged we can use the formula n factorial by k1 factorial into k2 factorial here uh, 3 plus 2 5 so n is equal to 5 out of which uh, 3 of them are same 2 of them are same so you will get it as 10 so altogether 10 arrangements are there and only this one unfavorable case is there so this one arrangement has to be removed so remaining 9 arrangements are there in which Brazil never takes a lead over Germany so 9 possible ways in which the goals can be scored so option B 9 is the right answer